All right, what's up, savages? So today I'm going to show you how to make a ghost. Low poly ghost, part of the uh, low poly Halloween series. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, we're going to delete the cube. Cube selected there. X key, delete key. Adios. There we go. Now we're going to bring in a mesh icosphere. sphere. So shift A, mesh icosphere. sphere. There we go. One for front view on the number pad. Remember to always have number lock on on the number pad. The decimal key on the number pad to zoom in center. There we go. Decimals between the zero and enter on the number pad. Now I'm going to go to edit mode. So I'm hit the tab key. Edit mode. There we go. Now I'm going to activate the wireframe. So I'm going to hit shift. Hold on shift. Hit Z for zebra. Shift Z. There we go. You can also toggle between wireframe and solid viewport shader right here. And you can also go to object mode and edit mode right here. I like using the shortcuts. All right, I'm gonna drag select uh, these bottom vertices here. So I wanna delete those. So I'll get the bottom one there and uh, the set of vertices above those just like that. So just those there, hold down the left mouse button and drag across. Now X or delete key, delete vertices. There we go. So a ghost is uh, has like a round head, right? I'm gonna drag select the bottom vertices here. And there we go. I'm gonna extrude these out a bit. So I'm going to E to extrude, Z for zebra, minus 0.5, enter. So that was E, Z, minus 0.5, enter. So E extrudes it, Z tells it I want to go along the Z axis, which is up and down, then minus 0.5, enter, tells it I want to go down by minus 0.5 linear units. That's one, two, three, four, five, grid marks in the background there. All right. So I'm going to make my ghost body here. Now I'm going to extrude again by the same amount. What I can do, I can just hit Shift R, and it'll repeat the last action I just did. So that was easy, minus 0.2 enter. Then I hit Shift, then R to repeat the last action, and extruded that again by another half a blender unit. I want to keep this here because I'm going to do something else with this down here. All right, so I got these selected here still. If not, I'll go ahead and drag select them, the bottom most vertices there. Now I'm going to alternate, alternate select them. So I'm going to go over right here to select. Put those selected. Make sure you go over here to select. Then check or deselect. That'll uh, select every other one. See? All right. I'm going to G for grab. Then Z. I'm going to pull those down. There we go. Just eyeball it. So as long as you want to make the little skirt on your ghost. One for front view. Now I'm going to scale them out. S for scale. I'm going to flare them out. There we go. Set them for top view. See how that looks? Cool. It's kind of like a star. One for front view. Now let's check it out in solid view. In the solid view port shader. So shift Z again. There we go. I'm holding on the middle mouse button. Spin around. Cool. So if you like, you can leave it like that. Uh, if not, you can, uh, I'm going to loop select these right here. I'm going to hold on the alternate key. Left click there. I, you can scale these in. Or you can scale them out. Make it a little wider. It depends on your ghost. Whatever ghost body you want to go with. Maybe you want a bulkier ghost. A skinnier ghost. That one looks kind of scary. Let's see, maybe you just want to flare it out a little bit more like that. Cool. And then maybe well, another thing you can do is uh, let's see, check or deselect these as well. Select, check or deselect. Let's see if you can get the ones in the middle. There we go. Then scale those inward and get you a better skirt appearance there. Cool. So there, there it is. You're pretty much almost done. Now I'm at the tab key, go to object mode. I'm gonna color this. Let's see, rendered uh, viewport shader. So I'm gonna click right here, rendered viewport shader. You can also hit Z, select the top option. I have an issue with my graphics card, so that's why I get those pixels there. So to fix that, I click on the render tab right here and I activate screen space reflections and it just makes it go away. So I'm gonna go down here, materials, screen space uh, reflections is for, uh, to make things reflective, like if I have a mirror. All right, I'm gonna make this go swipe. I'm gonna make it glow. So I click the materials in the properties panel. I'm gonna click new, name it here, white glow. Enter, all right. Now I'm gonna click on principal BSDF shader and I'm gonna go over to emission. Emission, here we go. And the default color is already kind of white. So I'm gonna click in there and there we go. It's all the way up already. Uh, if you know hex codes, uh, white is a bunch of Fs and there it is already. So the strength, let me bring this up. Let me try uh, 10. There we go. Uh, you can try 20. 
and I'll give you a strong glow, and I really see the glow, and we hear the render and activate bloom. See, there we go, it's glowing. Ambient occlusion, motion blur, I always like to use those. We go back to materials, I think 10 is a little strong, so I'm gonna go down to 10. Sorry, I think 20 is strong, so I'm gonna go down to 10. Are you gonna experiment with these? Whatever, whatever you think is optimal for you. Uh, hey, you know, seven looks pretty cool. I think I'm gonna stick to seven there. Now I'm gonna go over here to world, and the background will make it black. So I'm gonna click inside color right here, this bar to the right of color, and go all the way down to black. There we go. Cool. So that's a cool looking ghost there. If you want to give it eyes, you can try that too. Tab key Freddy mode and just select um, some of these faces here. Let me go over to face selection up here. So let's say you want to make this one an eye. Hold on the shift key. Want to select these here and yeah, want to select that one there. There you go. You don't want to select the ones exactly next to each other. Then it's going to look kind of weird. It's like little bitty eyes. Want to have a gap in between the eyes, right? I'm going to make those black. So I'm going to go here to materials. And plus sign right here, make a new material. New. And just make this black here. The, the white glow, it's kind of, it's going to be kind of, it's fuzzy, it has that fuzzy color. So, it's, and then hit assign. Let me hit the tap key so you can see it. So it's kind of going to take away some of the black from there. It's going to look kind of gray, but there you go. But these eyes look kind of huge. I don't know if you guys like them. I don't like them, to be honest. I'm going to tap key for edit mode. So while those uh, faces there are still selected, I'm going to ask for scale. I can scale them down, make them smaller. There you go, tab key. So I think those look better. And also by scaling them down, it kind of changes the geometry there. You can also make them longer, S to Z. S for scale, then Z it's for the Z axis. Get these longer spooky eyes. There you go. I think those look cooler. S for scale. Tab key. Cool. All right. Now I'm going to animate this. Let me bring up the timeline panel here. All right. I'm going to turn on the record button. I got my ghost here selected. Uh, I'm going to make this the camera view here. Let me zoom out. Control alternate zero. So looks good. Let me click the camera here. G for grab, pull it down some more. All right, just good. I'm going to select my ghost. All right. Now I'm going to hit R, then Z, rotate along the Z axis so it looks at the camera here. There we go. Slide wall it there. All right. Now I'm going to go over here to frame 20 or 30 around there somewhere. So you can try like 25. And I'm going to hit G for grab. Actually, first, I think I'll start doing like uh, slight rotations. So R, Z, go back this way. And then jump over about another 25. Freehanding it. Doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. About another 25. RZ. Just going, looking back and forth. And RZ again. So to about a frame 100. Then I'm going to copy and paste them later. So let me go down back to frame 1 here. And then play button. Looking around. Cool. Back to frame 1. I'm going to frame somewhere between here somewhere. I'm going to hit G for grab, put them up here. Let me hit R for rotate, rotate them a bit. And there we go. I'm going to go over here to frame 40. And then G for grab, bring them down right here. Rotate this way. And then somewhere over here, G for grab over here. Rotate that way. G for grab over there. Then over here somewhere. G for grab back over here, and then rotate this way, that way, whatever way. Or maybe I'm going to hit R, Z, or sorry, R and then X, and then rotate like this. There we go. And then it goes back to over there. Let's try R, X the other way. Oh, it was already that way. Let's try that one. All right, so go back to frame one, play button. There we go. Looks like it's some kind of fast for a ghost. So that's all right. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to bring in the timeline cursor approximately in between these here. They should all be yellow. If not, have your mouse on here. Hit the A key. These are all the keyframes. Hit S for scale. Space them out. G for grab. Move them over to the right. All right. So we'll go back to frame one. Play button. A smoother looking ghost there. Cool. Pause. 
and I click uh, yeah, around here somewhere. Those are already selected there. I can tell because of the yellow glow. Control C, Control V, and then go back to frame one and play button. See how that looks. Cool. And if you want some variation, you can go ahead and just add uh, other little animations in there. Pause that and go right here. Maybe RZ, RX, sorry, RX. Another rotation like that in there. There we go. And you want them rotated right here. Something like this. All right. So there it is. So now to animate this, so I'm going to go over here to the Output tab. Uh, from File Format, I'm going to change it to AVI JPEG. And then I'm going to click on this folder here, name my file, put it somewhere, put it on the desktop. So you can name your, your ghost, whatever you want, your ghost animation. You can name it Ghost. You can name it Casparade. You can name them Spooky. You can name them Fantasma. Fantasma. Fun. Fantasma Homes. Fantasma. Little Fantasma. They call me Little Fantasma. All right, accept that. Control F12. Wait patiently, and you'll have your animation there. So there you go. Quick and easy ghost animation. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to see more of these uh, Halloween animations in Blender, please subscribe. Have an awesome freaking day. And happy Halloween. <laughs> I don't know if that laugh was that good, but have an awesome day.